We've had a return of volatility in the mortgage market. Those trying to borrow a home or remortgaging are feeling the heat once again. But is this as bad as the fallout from Liz Truss's mini budget? Not quite. Eyes Money and Business Editor Jesse Hewitson explains what's really going on and what it tells us about Britain's property market. The inflation figures showed a decrease, which is what we wanted. It went from 10.1 to 8.7. However, that decrease wasn't as large as many, including the Bank of England, had predicted. And there were some signs that inflation may be embedded. So this triggered the financial markets to assume uh, quite correctly that the base rate is going to increase, which will mean interest rates increase for mortgages. And we may be in line for, well, at least one, but possibly more uh, increases to the base rate by the end of the year. And then we had the Chancellor's comments today, which will have done little to quell those sort of uh, feelings that rates are about to go up. Even if there's a the inflation is a source of instability. And if we want to have prosperity, if we want to grow the economy, if we want to reduce the risk of recession, we have to support the Bank of England in the difficult decisions that they take. So we've got a mixed picture in terms of lenders increasing rates, but not all of them. So have we really come to the end of the rock bottom 0.99% interest rate for mortgages? 1.5 million people whose fixed rate mortgages are due to come to the end of their term this year. Uh, so it's it's huge numbers and it, you know, it's quite normal for people to see their repayments go up by hundreds of pounds a month, unfortunately. Um, and, you know, we've we've got mortgage brokers who've told us that the days of the 1% mortgage are over. Because if you look at the trend historically, uh, base rates it, it tend to be 4%. So for the last 15 years, we'd seen rock bottom interest rates. However, that is not the normal state of affairs. That has been an aberration. And what we're going through now is a painful weaning off process of rock bottom interest rates. And we're, we're going back to something more consistent with how base rates have been for over a hundred years. So what can you do if you are looking to get a mortgage for the first time or if you're about to remortgage? Probably the first thing to do is, is not to panic and to speak to your mortgage broker who should be able to give you a calm evaluation of where we are now. It may be that you want to wait and see what happens to rates next week as things might well calm down. But what you also could do is if you're within six months of the end of the term of your fixed rate mortgage, you could ask your, your broker to lock in a fixed rate deal now, which you can get out of penalty free if you decide in six months time, actually you don't want that deal. So what's the outlook for rates? Um, are we entering a new normal of rates around 5%? I think for the next year or so, yes, we probably are going to see mortgages of around 5%. Um, this is not an easy time for people who are having three mortgage from very low mortgages to that. But I mean, in my home, we've just taken a lodger. We're finding that is helping us with the bills. So there are other things you can do, including you could maybe go part interest only on your mortgage and part remortgage. That will help keep your bills down in the short term, but in the long term, it might add to your interest bill, of course. So locking in a deal is a good idea, but should you go for a tracker or a fixed? At the moment, for most people, it's most likely that fixed deal is going to be the most sensible because we we know, well, we know it's likely that base rate is going to increase um, because in order to tackle inflation properly, the Bank of England is going to is going to continue on that path. So I think it's safe to assume that the rates are going to increase once, possibly twice this year, and then they will stay where they are uh, for some time until the Bank of England is fully confident that inflation is under control. But however, if you've got the kind of income where you're going to get a large chunk of money at any point and you want to pay down your mortgage without penalties, it may be that a tracker is still the most sensible option for you. So for people with more sort of complicated financial arrangements, they can speak to a broker about whether tracker does make sense. So what do you think about the new normal? Are you due to come off your fixed rate soon? Let us know in the comments below.